What is going on guys, Bisectatron here bringing you today's video and we are taking a look at the defensive heroes, particularly the Archer Queen um, and how they're being used defensively because the heroes are, have I think been overlooked a little bit in base building. People often don't want to put their queen in the middle, they're afraid the lightning spell will take her out in addition to the eagle and the clan castle and that's all very valid but um we're gonna look at some replays take a look at some different compartments that i'd recommend and really talk about how you can get the most value out of your uh, defensive heroes and particularly the queen because she is very good at stopping certain attacks if she's in the right place at the right time um very high damage also aggro's troops and um, is not targeted as a defense. Lots of benefits um, beyond just you know the high amount of damage that the queen does. So we'll take a look at um, some replays starting with this one. You can see this, this base is very typical um, in terms of has the clan castle and the eagle away from other defenses, the inferno towers too, very isolated, trying to prevent the, uh, the lightning spell value there, which is definitely a good thing to do. Um, I'd recommend it. But at the same time, just having your heroes kind of among these defenses makes it really easy for them to get taken out along with everything else. Um, so you'll see here the hybrid coming in. And when the queen pulls the miners, she's really not pulling them anywhere that they wouldn't already already be going. Um, it's just another another defensive building, really. Uh, so I think that uh, you know this base would have probably been better if the queen could have somehow been in the in the middle here. Um, she might have caused some problems for the queen charge, um, but even more than that, she may have been able to pull miners, hogs away from the town hall. Not hogs, I suppose, but pull the miners away from the town hall. Um, I have found in recent base building uh, that, by and large, it's better to keep your queen protected still, because if she's far enough out, you're also opening up, especially at town hall 11, um, and even lower town hall levels, you're opening up these possibilities for suing and you know suey heroes take out your queen, then do a lalo or dragons. The queen is very good at stopping dragons at lower town hall levels, um, especially if you pair her up with some air skeletons. I mean, if those dragons are not under rage, they take a long time to take out the defensive queen. Uh, so let's uh, fast forward, take a look at one attack where um, it's kind of a, an example of how you don't want to do it. Uh, I think it's up number 10 here. This is putting the queen in the middle of the base, but putting her right next to the clan castle. And you can't do that. Uh, you'll see right here, the lightning spells come down, get the sweeper, get, I think, uh, one other defensive building, and the clan castle, which is not something you want as the defender. That's way too much value. Sets up an easy Lalo here. Um, we'll go ahead and go times two. This was a, a, a nice attack. You'll see the queen actually comes in and doesn't take out the eagle, even though she can reach the eagle from the compartment she's entering in. So that was uh, interesting. Uh, she just, I guess, had other buildings in mind to target here. Uh, but there's a nice adjustment by the attacker to kind of come back with a few balloons and take down that eagle. Um, but like I said, the, the point of this attack is there's just way too much value if you put your queen just among other buildings. So we're gonna hop over and take a look at one of the compartments I recommend putting near the middle of your base and we'll talk about why it tends to work. So this one was a definitely overkill Lalo. It has a haste spell to spare. Let's hop over to the base building interface and take a look at something here. Um, you can see this is the compartment I really like putting in the middle of the base and the reason is that it does a few things. First of all it really helps spread out your base. So maybe you have a compartment on this side, compartment on this side, you know, other, you can have high value buildings surrounding, but it, it's gonna make it so something pathing through the core, uh, especially if the queen altar gets taken down, you know, going across, you know, from this side over to that side is really much more difficult because there's a lot of dead space. Um, there's not a whole lot of buildings connecting everything across. So it helps keep your base decentralized in the core, keep stuff spread out. Um, and you can still put, you know, this might be a little risky because if the queen wanders all the way over there, they might get that lightning value. So I wouldn't put like the eagle or the clan castle just pressed right up, but you can put it like one tile away, like right there, right there. And I think you're fine in terms of lightning value. I don't think the queen typically leaves this compartment as she walks around. 
Um, so it keeps things spread out, and it's also going to do a nice uh, service for minor attacks and even dragon attacks by really spreading out the troops once they aggro. Um, spreading them away from defenses, pulling them towards where the queen is, which is not a place you want your troops to be if they're trying to move evenly through the base. If she's among defenses, then boom, she's just another defense. They aggro to her, they spread back out. But if you can really have the queen pull them into an empty compartment, that's often going to be a uh, much better value in terms of uh, of taking them away from defenses and messing up their pathing. Um, and finally, putting that queen in the middle is definitely important uh, just because the amount of damage she does, if you actually check the stats, is much more than almost any other defense. Uh, maybe minus the single Inferno if it locks on for long enough. So I think people often are just kind of putting their queen out, hanging her out to dry, when really she's one of your best defensive buildings. Uh, so you should treat her like that for sure. Uh, the defensive king as well, keep him somewhat near the core too. I think that he can really add to the um, amount of uh, damage in an area, such as near an expo farm, and really make queen charges or certain things very difficult just because of the pure damage in the area, if you can really add him on to other high damage areas. Those are my recommendations. Um, there are other setups, but I would recommend putting just this compartment in the middle of your base, give it a try in one of your builds, and, and see how it works out. Let's take a look at one more replay um, that I want to show. First, let me actually hop over to the uh, viewer poll sponsored by the creator code Bisect. Guys, I say this a lot, but enter the creator code. Um, resets every week. It really helps me out, so I appreciate it. Uh, pretty simple. It's in the settings tab. There's also a link in the description of all my videos where if you're on your device, it'll load up the creator code for you. All you have to do is hit enter pretty much. So uh, you can do that as well if you don't want to go through all the settings. Okay, so last week I asked you guys a poll question. Um, which of the following changes would you like to see implemented into the game? A lot of people in the comments said, I don't want to see any of this, which is completely fair. Uh, and um, my, my thoughts were these are things that might make the game a little more balanced. And lightning spell damage uh, decreased was popular, but not um, actually it was the most popular. But also the inferno tower hit points increased was popular. These are just changes I'd like to see to make, especially at town hall 11 and lower town hall levels, make the lightning spell not quite as powerful. Um, I think town hall 11's been hurt badly by the uh, the witch lightning combination in terms of balance. Not many people want to see the queen damage decrease. That's, that's fair uh, for queen charges. People love those. Additional expo for all town hall levels, nine and above. Um, I, I think that would be a fair change. I don't think it would be too crazy, but um, you know, I think uh, the 22%, so it got a solid amount of votes. Um, a lot of you guys thought all this was too extreme. We'll see what they do in the next update, if anything gets balanced out, but I think um, I'm a little, little nervous in terms of right now, the balance at some of those lower town hall levels just because of the lightning spell especially um, but just attacks in general are a little bit on the stronger side we'll see how things play out um, thank you guys for answering that poll there'll be another one uh, not too long from now so I love it to kind of get your guys' thoughts on all these different things let's hop back um, here and take a look at one more replay from this war nice job to our uh, squad in the CWL war number 17 here by the way guys, it's the last day, um, if you're seeing this, I mean, you only have a few hours, it might even be too late, to enter my giveaway of my, um, of the Clash of Clans storybook. If you guys didn't see the last uh, video, I have a Discord server where I'm doing the giveaway, so you can join the server, it's free to everyone. Uh, it used to be a patron only server, but it's open to everyone now, so you can check out the Discord server and if you're interested, uh, you can um, enter into the giveaway for that Clash of Clans storybook. One last shout out um, before it's given away. It'll be given away Sunday, like midday for me, Pacific time probably. Okay, um, this last one here I think is a nice attack to look at because it makes another good point. Um, the queen right here is just kind of among other defensive buildings and I think that's kind of a mistake. People try to go for the symmetrical base where um, you have your king and queen kind of both hanging out and they are central but they're not like isolated and i think isolating heroes is kind of a meta right now for defense uh defenses i don't have any replays because i don't want to show bases that did well um you know burning bases but 
if you look at this one, the problem is it's too easy just to drop the skeleton spells. Um, the queen is just kind of right there with all the other action. Whereas if you were to spread her out, you know, put her in a more of an isolated compartment, similar to what the eagle was in, um, the skeleton spells, you know, they could still be used perhaps in this attack, but then you have a multi-inferno maybe have, can cover her. If she's just right in the path of the Lalo, it kind of makes it too easy um, to get those skelly spells down. And this is a very specific example, but it, this goes for any attack, you know, dragons. Let's say you're doing a dragon attack and you're going over the queen. If you're dropping a rage for your dragons, it's going to be very convenient if the queen's there because the rage dragons target the queen. If the queen's away from defenses, the attacker has to choose, do I rage up my dragons over the defenses or when they get pulled by the queen? Um, and if, if the former is chosen, oftentimes the dragons without that rage are not going to be effective against the queen. So, um, like I said, the compartment I showed is a good one to try out. I'd recommend a, an air skelly or two, the skeleton trap, um, there to also kind of help deal damage and distract dragons, particularly at Town Hall 10, um, Town Hall 11 even. But those lower Town Hall levels are getting hit hard by dragons. So it's a good idea to do that to kind of help defend um, against that that meta right now. Um, but overall, I think this is a great thing to do. Protect your defensive heroes, guys. They are they are really valuable. Um, and the, the you know the higher town hall levels, you want to stop the warden walk sometimes. So just make sure that they you know covering different important sections of the base along with like the clan castle. Um, they all serve a purpose. So, you know, at Town Hall 13, you want to stop the Royal Champion because um, she can often get shut down hard by a defensive hero uh, if she encounters one along the way. So there's different uses, but especially those lower Town Hall levels, this is, this is critical, guys. Anyway, enough from me. Thank you guys for watching, and um, I'll see you guys all next time. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoy my content, consider supporting the channel by entering my Creator Boost code bisect in the settings tab of your game, and keep in mind it occasionally resets and must be re-entered. Click or tap for another video and be sure to subscribe. See you all next time, Bisectatron out.